This will be the last video in this series, so this is the bonus section. Thank you very much for following along all to the end. So here we have packaged Google Chrome version 95, and we have included PS App Deployment Toolkit and a um, service UI.exe and a lot of stuff. So we have uploaded the Intune Win file and we have made it available. So let's look at the client now. So I have my client here who already have Google Chrome, but this is a previous version. So if we go to um, apps and features and it for a very short time, we saw it there. So it's Chrome version 92 and we are we have 95. And we want to run this from a company portal. Normally you wouldn't run it from company portal, but then we control when it runs. And we want to have Google Chrome started. So our gbn install.ps.1 run the get VMI object and do the query to see if the Chrome process is started or not. If it's started, it will run PS app deploy toolkit, deploy um, application.exe with service UI to be in session one. So the user actually sees something. If not, it runs in session zero and then the user won't see anything, which we actually do if uh, Google Chrome is not started, then we don't want to bother the user. Okay, so here we have company portal and here we have our 95 available. And I had some issues, so I have reinstalled, that's why it detected it, but I have uh, cleared the registry. So let's install this and it's gonna download. That's gonna take a while on my slow connection. So download pending, so it needs to do a sync and after that, it's gonna download this app. And it's gonna download the Intune Win file. And how it works is that it downloads the Intune Win file and it's uh, secured by um, encryption. It decrypts it, it extracts it, runs the installation, and then delete the files. If you have previous um, experience with the Configuration Manager or CCM, then you maybe are used to see under C or Windows um, CCM cache, the files can stay there. That's not the case in Intune. Once the files have been used, they are gone, which is pretty good for security. Shouldn't take that long time. Ah, installing. Perfect. So this is what we wanted, of course. We wanted the PS app deployment toolkit to run in session one and notice that Chrome was already started here. So if we click close program, it will close Google Chrome version 92 and then install 95 with our uh, uh, script that we have. So let's say close program, it's gonna close Chrome and then it's hopefully going to start to install. Yes, we have our nice banner, our little icon and this uh, pop-up comes from uh, PS App Deploy Toolkit as well. And hopefully it installs successfully and we get our welcome uh, message at the end. See, it's running. So this would not be possible if we didn't have the service UI.exe because this would run then in uh, session zero, like a task sequence in Configuration Manager. So there it disappear. Hopefully we get the pop-up now saying that it have, yes, thank you. Your Google Chrome have been updated to latest version. Feel free to start Google Chrome again or something. Perfect. Okay, so let's double check here. This one, uh, remember the old values. So I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to go back to personalization or something, apps to be sure it's refresh. And there we see Chrome and it's indeed the good version, 95. So we can start it as well. And see uh, help about, right? About Google Chrome. It is indeed version 95 and updates are disabled. That's in our config file. Excellent. So it worked exactly as we wanted with PS App Deploy Toolkit. So that ends everything. We have successfully packaged Google Chrome, the latest version at this time with PS App Deployment Toolkit, with Service UI and our scripts. So great if you could follow along and do all that. 
And thank you very much for following this series, and I will be creating other series related to Intune at a later date. Thank you very, very, very much. Have a great day.